like at 3.34 in the morning. Hello? Good morning. Is uh, Kathy there, please? This is. Hi, Kathy. This is uh, Officer uh, Zinya calling from the um, Sheriff's Department. And I'm calling in regards to your husband, Jack. Mm-hmm. We, uh, we have uh, picked him up um, early this morning, and uh, the vice squad actually made an arrest uh, approximately two and a half hours ago. What? Uh, we, we arrested your husband for soliciting a prostitute. Excuse me? I... Ma- ma'am? Ma'am, you all right? Yeah. So what? It, it, seems, it seems your husband had approached one of the uh, ladies of the evening on the street, and uh, according to the police report I'm reading, they had a, a sting operation happening. You know, he's done this to me before, and I can't believe he's going to hookers now. Excuse me? What, he's, he's he solicited prostitutes before, or what, what do you mean he's done this to you before? Oh, no, he's just cheated on me before. I don't, are you asking me to come down and get him or something? I, yes, ma'am, we, we'd like to post his bail to get him out of here. Well, there's some other way we can do this, because I'm not coming down there. Uh, ma'am? Ma'am, now, when, when, when you say he did this to you before, did he solicit another man before? Uh, what? Because it was a male prostitute that he was approaching. Oh, oh that's disgusting. Well, uh, not that I know of. So you're not going to come down here and even post his bail? No. Ma- ma'am, your husband said to give you a call. And you're not going to come down and post his bail? Would you? Well, ma'am, no, may, can may, find someone else to do it. Ma- ma'am, maybe you better say hi to your husband. Oh. It's Lamont and Tonelli on 92.3 KSJO. Oh. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. You're on the radio. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> He's cheated on you before, has he? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jack, Jack didn't say anything about that to us. <laughs> you know? Did you say my name on the air? <laughs> Kathy, you hold on. We got a little something for you. Oh, uh, you better. <laughs> hold on the line. We have a little something for you. Getting off to a good start on Dirty Friday. Thought she was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> There's a wake up call for you. There we go. As well as uh, a lot of uh, the rest of the Bay Area. And very humid on the weekend. Good morning. This is Phil. Good morning. Uh, I'm looking for Phil. This is him. Hi, uh, Phil. I'm calling from the uh, the, uh, uh, and I'm calling in regards to your horse. Oh dear! Did he get out again? Yes, he did get out again. And your neighbors called us this morning. My neighbors, the, the Linfields. Yes, the Linfields uh, called us this morning, and um, they've reported some uh, major, major damage over there this morning. Oh dear! Yeah. Uh, what did what did Billy do this time? Well, we've got to talk to you, but first off, uh, first off, I'll tell you the damage, and secondly, I'll tell you the problem we've got with this horse. Uh, the horse got loose at the wind uh, Linfields, um, and I'm afraid the horse stepped on their cat and killed their cat. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Oh no! It <laughs> also it uh, and that and that's why they called us. It also did some property damage. Oh, it, it jumped no. up on one of their cars. Oh, no, he's gotten out before. He's never done that. Well, as I'll tell you, Phil, we've got some problems because when, when, by the time we got to the uh, Linfields, there were some big problems. Oh. The horse got loose again, and it created an accident at one of the uh, highway intersections. Damn it. And we're still having problems catching your horse. Still out, huh? Yeah. Oh, no, he's never done that. He's gotten out before, but he's never... He caused an accident? Yes. So I, I'm afraid you're looking at some major litigation here when we finally catch your horse. Oh. Now, is there any trick to catching this thing that we should know of? No, he usually doesn't, he usually doesn't leave. He just goes over to Linfields, and, he, you know, they, they've called me many times. And I just, you know, they usually bring him back in and put him back in the gate. He jumps over. Uh-huh. Um, but he's never gone this far. Well, I don't know what you're feeding this horse because there's crap all over the place, too. <laughs> 
well, that's pretty normal, but I didn't, I didn't expect him to get out and go do this. You say he caused an accident. Is anyone hurt? Um, you know, I, I, I can't really divulge that information at this time, Phil, until the next <sighs> kid have been notified. And uh, he's still out running around. Do you have him? Do you have someone trying to? You know, we're trying to shoot him. Shoot him. And Phil, let me just say this. You can't shoot him. Phil, let me just tell you something. Your, your neighbor's the Linfield? Hey, who's Karen? Is that your wife or is that your girlfriend? That's my wife. Your wife said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on 92.3 KSJ. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God. So he didn't get out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, Karen, Karen wanted to dick with you, Phil. Hey, Phil, we have one word for you. <laughs> Glue. Holy. Glue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker this morning. Well, I guess you could say. that all the time. Oh, my God. You guys let me freak out. <laughs> Hoof, line, and sinker. <laughs> wow. Hey, hold on the line, okay? We might have a little something for you this morning. He is in trouble. Thanks. Okay, don't go away. All right, Phil. I mean, hook, line, and sinker. Way to go, boys. Hello? Hello, I'm uh, calling in uh, in regards to the uh, room for rent, the okay. apartment. Yeah. Hi, what's your name? I'm Greg. Hi, Greg. How are you this morning? Good. Good. My name is uh, Mike. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Doing wonderful. And I, I picked this um, this is a number off off the board at uh, the community center, the uh, student union. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you tell me a bit about your apartment? Yeah, it's a uh, three-bedroom. Uh, I already have a roommate. Um, uh, washer, dryer, downstairs. Oh, well, you, you already have a roommate, but you're still looking for another one? Yeah, it's three bedrooms. Oh, okay. All right. Um, it's, uh, it's a good, it's good, good area, good area. Uh -huh. I telegraph all the shops. And is, it, is it close to school, too? Yeah, you can walk or ride a bike. Well, that's cool. Hey, listen, uh, so I'd get my own room then, right? Yeah. Yeah? Would, would I have, a, like, a private bathroom there, too? Uh, no, you'd actually split one with uh, my roommate, Joel. Oh, okay. Because, uh, see, I've got this habit. Sometimes I accidentally leave the door open. Yeah. And I have... It's kind of embarrassing to say, but if you're going to be my roommate, I should be up front and, and tell you everything. I have, a, I have a habit of, like, spanking the monkey sometimes. Okay. And if the door is open, I wouldn't want to freak you guys out at all. Yeah, but I'm sure you can remember to close the door, can't you? Well, sometimes I like having it open, but anyway. Uh, hey, Liz, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, actually, I'm engaged. Oh, you are? Yeah. Do you like to swing? What are you talking about? Like sharing partners, that kind of thing? you got to be kidding me. Gotcha. What's your name again? My name is Mike Oxlong. I'm, uh, call, uh, listen, I was just testing your sense of humor because I think it's important for a roommate to have a sense of humor. Yeah, i got a sense of humor. I don't know if I have that kind of sense of humor. Well, I'm just testing you here. Hey, listen, I've got a question for you. Uh, on, on a serious note, okay. if, if I get this, if I rent the room from you, well, yeah. is it okay if I get a lot of company? Well, what kind, of what kind of company are you talking about? Well, I've got, like, a lot of friends who visit, my old cellmates from prison. I spent some time up at San Quentin. What? Are you kidding me? My old bunkmates, if you know what I mean. How big are the showers? Hey, Mike, Mike, let me just cut you off right there. I, I just don't think this is going to work out. You know, good luck, good luck finding a place, all right? <laughs> <laughs> He's very cordial. <laughs> Hey, we better give him a call back. Now I'm really going to get hideous with him. <laughs> okay. at, least, at least he wished you good luck in finding the place. I would, I would say him. that he got angry, but he said, hey, Mike. Do you have a lot of room for me to store my Vaseline? I, I, don't think, I don't think you're the kind of roommate we're looking for, but good luck finding a place. What a pleasant kind of a guy Greg Okay, is. we'll be giving him a call back. <laughs> St. Louis and Cincinnati and St. Louis. Hello? Hello, is uh, Greg there, please? Yeah, this is Greg. Hi, Greg. Mike calling again uh, about that room. Listen, yeah. listen, I, I, I don't know if you're going to rent me the room at all, but in talking to you, and, and don't get me wrong here, okay? It's not really my lifestyle, but when I was in prison, you think you're not going to like it at first, but once you get it a few times, you kind of enjoy it. And uh, that's the reason I'm calling you here. Like, are, you, are you kidding me? No, they see, see, uh, I, I've got, I've got a couple of my, uh, I've got a couple of my cellmates coming in, and I don't know if you're going to rent me the room or not. That's irregardless of the fact, but 
My uh, cellmates are coming in. They're pretty good at breaking guys in. I think you might enjoy it. I know you've got a, a fiancé. Maybe Mike, you and your Mike, roommate. Mike, 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 We're not gay. You know, and we're not, I'm not, we're not interested in renting you the room. Just lose this number and don't call back again, okay? Look, I think once you, once you meet these guys, they can break in. You might enjoy it. Mike, don't call back, okay? <laughs> I can't believe how calm he is. He's like, just don't call back. Hello? Hello, Greg? Yeah, this is Greg. Hi, I'm calling. Uh, this is Mike calling again. Oh, my God. Look, I don't know why you're hanging up on me. Hey, by the way, do you, do you like Vaseline or KY Jelly? Dude, are you kidding me? How many times do I have to tell you? Look, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, I got your number off the wall. I thought maybe you'd be interested in a roommate. You don't have to be so close-minded. Mike, what do you think I'm just going to turn in, turn gay? I'm, I have a fiancé. My roommate's not gay either, so quit calling. Hey, hey, Mike, 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 your roommate, his name is Joel, right? Yeah. Joel told us to give you a call this morning. It's Lamont and Tonelli on Dirty Friday. You're on the air, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. You're on the radio. <laughs> KSJO 92.1, 92.3. We're 92 Rock KSJO. <laughs> Good morning. You got, oh, my Joel said, <laughs> Joel said give Greg a call and have a gay time with him. <laughs> We've had, oh, God, as we've been talking about, we've had, like, four calls, and they've all been, like, these weirdos. I'm like, God, it can't get any worse than this. Hey, welcome to Cal Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good luck renting that room out. Yeah. Hold on the line, okay, bro? And if, okay. You, have, if you have problems over there in Berkeley and the uh, PD shows up, just ask for Fred. Uh, that's oh our little God. tip to you this morning. <laughs> okay. He'll take care of you. Don't go away, all right? Good morning. Uh, good morning. May I please speak to Ken? This is Ken. Hey, Ken, uh, good morning. My name is Howie Feltersnatch. I'm with band management. Apparently you had a, uh, a date with uh, the band we handle. Oh, for a, oh. For a wedding. Oh, uh, are, am I speaking to the right Ken? Yeah, this is, this is, yeah, the caterer's got you guys to do our wedding. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. See, I, I got your number from the caterer, and, and I, I think I'm calling with some bad news for you this morning, Ken. What's the deal? Well, I, I know the wedding's coming up, and I know this is last minute. But apparently, um, we're going to have a problem lining up that particular band for your for your upcoming for your upcoming wedding. Well, now, now, first part of the week this week, are you? Are you I mean, are, are you sure? Because at the first part of the week this week, they said that the band was set up to play for us tomorrow night. And and and, and again, we have it set up. It's on the books, but we ran into a, a kind of a problem. The lead singer had a serious accident yesterday, and he's going to be out of commission for quite a while. He's okay. But he's going to be out of commission for a while. And the band, you know these guys, they can be prima donnas, and, and they're really particular. And the rest of the band guys, the other five guys, say that they're not going to play uh, if, they can't have, uh, if they can't have Johnny as their lead singer. So they are out. I've tried. I've tried oh, me, Ken, Ken, I have um, tried. Ken, I've talked to these guys. I have tried everything well, to convince them to play. Look, um, we're talking about a date tomorrow. Um, and believe me, that but, has not but, escaped me. I know that. But 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 Ken, these guys are refusing to play. Now are you? Now you said you're 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 his band manager. Yeah, Howie Feltersnatch. That's my name. Now I may have a solution for you, Ken. All right. Now, now and I know you had your heart set on this band, but we we have another actually a a, a big big name act who just signed with uh, the Fist record label, and and he's free tomorrow, and he may be able to do your wedding. And and I have him here with me now if you'd like to talk to him. And, and maybe you guys well, can kind of... Yeah, shit, I'm desperate, uh, uh, Ken, this is the only solution I have for you. And I, and I, yeah. I called him in, and I thought maybe you guys could talk and kind of hash out what you're looking for in your wedding. Okay, well, God... Hey, you, you know, want to say hello to Ken? I mean, I'm, who, I'm, I'm very upset about this because I, you know... Who is this? My daughter, who am I talking to? This is Ken. Oh, the guy who wants me to this Ken, it's his, it's his wedding tomorrow night. I can't have a ball comb. Okay, what's, well, what's your name? I uh, have a ball. What? Have a balls. Maybe you heard of my rap records? No, I haven't. Um, yeah, have you played plenty weddings before? I am, though. I don't go to private weddings. I have big concerts. We got a rap concert coming up here. See, he's a big name, now. Ken. Just, just big concerts. So for him to do a wedding is really doing you a huge, huge favor. I'm just doing a uh, favor for the man. But... See, he's done it. Really? We've been doing him a favor getting him this record contract. Yeah, he said he'd do anything favor. for us. Yeah. So, Ken, I'm calling in. A, I'm calling in a big marker for him, to get him for you for, for, for the wedding. For the president of the record company. Yeah. So maybe you guys can just kind of chat, Ken, and, and go over what you're expecting for the wedding. So tell me, tell me about some of the songs and stuff that you've uh, done here that that I that you're gonna sing or play at this wedding. Well, I got the yeah, song "Get Blues." I got the song that Blues. "Hey, Don't Thoop Me Up." I'm just driving by. 
Don't don't shoot me up. I'm just driving by. I got another thought. It's uh, for the wedding, right? The Brecker President Company told me to give you a call. It's wedding pre- favor for the President King. And uh, I got a special song for your wedding, if you want to hear. Oh, you'd like to hear a special song for your wedding, kid? Oh, I'd love to. Just got a mat now. Take your ass to wet, 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 wet. Hey, can, can you get the, the band ma- your manager back on the phone here for a second? Yeah, I'm right here. We're, we're on a conference call. Um, once could you drop off your uh, your uh, performer there for a minute? Oh, you want me to disconnect him for a second? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's up? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh God! I don't think you like my performer, but think that was beautiful. <laughs> Uh, I'm give me a call back. Uh, 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 lucky I'm doing wet. Uh, that was no rap song he was singing, was it? What the? F- 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 <laughs> Why should the censor always that hard? <laughs> what the? F- 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 Hey! I'm oh, sorry. What's wrong with you? I was just kind of getting into the tune. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, you quit. You're the manager. You take it. Hello. Good morning. Is Ken around, please? Hey, this is Ken. Ken, this is Howie Feltersnatz calling back with the band. How's, and, and I think we need to come to some resolution for your wedding. Hey, tomorrow. let me ask you a question. Yeah. First of all, why'd you hang up on me? See, now, Ken, don't fly off the handle here, well, hang Ken. On a Settle I got down back, just I got for a second. I'm back with the caterer here. And now, now, I did not hang up on you. All right? Heavy Balls overheard what you said a few minutes ago, and, and he disconnected us. Appreciate that. All he hung up for us. Oh, is he on the phone again with you, too, now? Yes, he is. Now, Ken, look, I'm trying to work with you here. The wedding's yeah. tomorrow night. Do we need... I, I know, Heavy, I know you're... Dead. Settle down, Heavy. Jackass. Now, now, wait a minute, Heavy. We need to come to a solution here. All right? I know that uh, you're a little bit upset. Now, Ken, listen to me. I'm trying to work with you here. We have a wedding tomorrow night. I'm just as nervous about this as you are. And I'm trying to get to some kind of a compromise where we can kind of help you out. Okay. So w- would you do me a favor here? Don't be dissing me no more. And, and Heavy is not going to diss you. Uh, do me a favor here and just work with Heavy. We need to find out what you're looking for to see if, if, if Heavy can kind of help you out a little bit. Now, he's doing us a favor. Okay, hang on a minute. All right. First of all, this thing's going to be at a country club. Right. I'm going to have everything there from kids to grandmothers. All right. Okay, yeah, the wedding crowd. Okay, you know, I mean, they're, they're going to be wanting to listen to some Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, I don't do no lame-ass Frank Sinatra. I have pussy music. Uh, he says no. Hey, hey. He doesn't do Sinatra. Do me a favor. Can you do me a favor? Can you, um... No, me death me now. I'm just doing it as a favor for the record now, company, it, the now, president. He, he's doing it as a favor for us, and, and Ken is a favor for you, too. Maybe not your standard wedding fair, but I think he's... He, 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 well, he, just tell me, tell me exactly, what, what's, uh... What's this guy going to be playing at this wedding? I'm a well-rounded otter that can handle this. Yeah, he's an all-around kind of a guy. He can handle weddings. Right? Maybe not your Sinatra stuff. I got Beth a wedding song. He's got a special wedding song for you. Would you, would you like to hear it? This is maybe give you a little indication of what we have for you. Okay. Wedding, wedding, what they're going to do? Going to grab my bit and soup my goo. And now you've been stung on the rock, 92. Ken, you're on the air. It's Lamont Tonelli with Dirty Friday. <laughs> You guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, Ken, everything's okay with Ken, your band. You don't have a rap star coming. Yeah. Kimberly, your bride, sets you up on Dirty Friday. Although you still may be with heavy balls on your honeymoon. Uh, <laughs> my wife did this to me. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no your fiance. Wife, my don't wife, jump the gun, Ken. Now. She's going to be your wife for the rest of your life. You don't want to jump the gun too quick on that oh, one. God. But Kimberly faxed us twice this morning, said you got to sting Ken. Because he made all the band arrangements <laughs> through the caterer? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> through the well, caterer? Well, hey, he's a friend of mine. He oh. said he, you know, he, he took me and I heard this band and I, you know, they were okay. <laughs> 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 uh, that, yeah, you know, Kimberly's chuck, uh, chuckling right now. Do you have anything you want to say to her? I'm going to fix her. I'm going to get drunk and pass out on a wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ken, hold on the line, okay? okay bye. Uh, we got a little dumb boy there. <laughs> we have a copy of uh, the latest from Heavy Ball. <laughs> <laughs> the latest CD. <laughs> oh, cool. Before they head off to, like, uh, probably go in that channel or whatever. Isn't it? Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Blair. Mm, this is her. Hi, Blair. This is um, uh, Sid Omaface calling from uh, TD. And I'm calling in regards to a flight um, later on today that we have you booked on. Do you know what time it is? 
Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry I'm calling so early, but uh, the, your flight is later on today, and we've had some uh, flight schedule changes. Wait a minute. That... I'm, uh, wait a minute. I'm leaving at 1 o'clock today. Mm-hmm. Why are you calling me at 6, what, 6.30 in the morning? Ma'am, I have no idea where you're driving in from. We have made some uh, very important flight schedule changes. What do you mean changes? Well, the, uh, the, I mean... the Federal Aviation uh, Commission has uh, changed flights. We didn't change we've, flights. We've, I'm, ground, I'm all, we've grounded some airplanes, ma'am. I'm, I'm already... Uh, we've grounded some airplanes, and the airplane that you were supposed to be flying has been grounded. I don't understand. I mean, this is my first time flying, and I'm already set, prepared myself to go at 1 o'clock, me and my girlfriend and everything. Well, I, I, I understand, ma'am, and, and I, uh, yeah, I understand. I, I, you don't know how, how difficult this has been to psych myself out to go on this, this flight and... and, and Prepare myself. What do you mean i got to change flight? Well, ma'am, ma we're changing your flight schedule here because we've had one of our airplanes grounded, so you will no longer be leaving this afternoon. What we'd like to do is change your flight to later on this evening, if possible. Okay. Okay. And also, the, the flight that we had you booked on, because you're leaving later on this evening, we have a shared relationship with other airlines, and we have transferred you and your girlfriends to another airline. And what is that? Well, we've, we've transferred, transferred you to Swiss Air. No, I don't think so. I, I don't really think so. you got to check that again because I, uh, I already had plans to go on TWA. I was all, like I said, it's my first time. I'm not going to go on there. Ma'am, ma'am, I understand. You're going to have me a priest with, it, uh, with that, too? Ma'am, I understand you have some trepidation going on, but uh, we, we have a fine airline, but we have a shared relationship I with other airlines. I so, buddy. You better check something else or put me on some other kind of plane. I don't care what it is. I'm not going to go on that plane. You heard the news. Don't you watch the news? You know, Blair, um, I, I understand you're a little well, nervous it's about this. in the morning. What a nightmare this is. Bla Blair? You know, I'm all psyched out, ready to go have a nice time. Bla Blair, I understand oh, you're looking Lord, forward to your mercy. vacation. You're, little, you're a little nervous about flying, but there's one uh, thing I've got to tell you. What? Your girlfriends that you're going on your flight with, Yeah. they said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tanelia, 92.3 oh. KSJ. It's Dirty Friday. Well, thanks a lot, buddy. You don't know what I've been doing to psych myself out, man. You're, you're, I went out last night, got myself ripped, and get myself loaded. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, Blair, what do you mean you would... <laughs> What do, you, what do you mean you went no. out and got ripped last night? Yeah, you caught my nerves, man. I'm all freaked out I'm going. Now, what do you mean? Is this your first flight? Because your girlfriend, your girlfriend shared with us that you love traveling. What, do you just go by car everywhere yes, you go? Yes, I travel by car. I'll so, go anywhere, but I do not fly. So this is, not fly. This is your action. This is your first flight, and we, and we burned you on Dirty Friday. Yeah, and they took me out last night to de-virginize me. <laughs> wow, what a party. <laughs> if we would have known that, we would have joined the party. I'm sure you would have. Hey, now, Blair, you, you've never flown before for your first flight you're flying across the atlantic yes i to know London. pretty stupid huh <laughs> <laughs> hey blair enjoy your vacation with your girlfriends okay well thank you You hold on the line we've got a little something to stash in your suitcase all righty thank you okay all don't right. go away don't go away good, good luck with your flight Lamont and have a good time in london raymond stinging burning on dirty friday all right and there's an action this weekend against washington redskins monday night Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Judy, please. That's me. Hi, Judy. This is Sid calling from the uh, company. Do you know what time it is? Um, you know what, ma'am? I, I, I realize it's probably pretty early. Where Now, you're in California, is that correct? You're not? No, uh, I'm calling from the head office. Uh, we're located in Illinois. That would explain why you're so perky. Yes, I am, I'm very sorry to be, uh, be calling so early, but I wanted to make sure to catch you here. Uh, we have had um, some correspondence uh, forwarded to us from our uh, San Jose office, mm -hmm. and it involves a dispute with you and our uh, our San Jose management team concerning some money. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I just moved out of the apartments. Now, the damage deposit is uh, $1,100. Is that correct? Yeah. And what seems to be the problem? You haven't given me my deposit back, and I, I cleaned my apartment, and I... It was cleaner than when I moved in, and I just don't see why there's this delay and why they had to forward it to... to where are you? Uh, we're in Illinois. Okay, so why they had to forward it to Illinois? Well, all disputes go to the head office. And I guess this has been going on for a while, is that correct? Yes. Now, ma'am, you know, I've, I've looked at the report from, uh, from the actual manager of our complex. And now you've dealt with him before, is that correct? For a while. 
No. And he has informed uh, the company that the place was left in, in horrendous conditions. And he's lying. And ma'am, he's backed this up with pictures. He has uh, given us a report from uh, an independent uh, cleaning person that came into your suite. And according to, to his report, you actually owe us money for the cleaning crews that went into the apartment. That is a lie. You know, I rented a cleaner from the store. I, I scrubbed the carpet. The carpet was filthy when I moved in there. It was cleaner than when I moved in. In fact, we talked. The manager and I talked, and they said, oh, oh God. the manager said that it would be no problem for me to get my deposit back. Because when I first moved in, it was filthy, and I said, "Well, so if, if I clean it when I move out, and it's and it's cleaner than this," and no. he said, "Oh no!" He interrupted no. me. He said, "Oh no, no problem. I'll, no. I'll, it'll no, be fine." And I don't know why you guys hired this other manager because the Ju first guy was very no. This is I can't. I can't believe Judy, this. Judy, Judy, now just control yourself here. Now I know we had a change of managers, and I realize that there is normal wear and tear on an apartment. No, you don't understand. I left it cleaner than when I moved in and this other guy is lying, okay? Um, Judy, uh, I think we've got a, a problem here that um, we probably will not be able to settle with normal arbitration. Um, well, fine. You want me to get an attorney? Because I'll get an attorney. Yeah, Ju Judy. I've got, you know what? I've got people that helps me clean. They'll be willing to testify. Judy, Ju 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 Judy be just calm down here. I know you've got some money coming to you. Do you know what time it is in the morning and you're calling me from... Well, Judy, I wanted to catch you before you go to work, and that's why I'm calling you. I also wanted to call you and say your son, Ken, said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on 92.3 KSL. Oh. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to... the boy. Oh, good morning. <laughs> we wanted to wake you up this morning and uh, oh. give you a little surprise. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for surprising me so early. <laughs> Judy, and you know what I'm going to do? When I get off the air, I'm going to call this management company and try and get your money back for you. Oh, would you? That would... I, I will try my that. damnedest for you, okay? Uh, can I go back to sleep now? No, hold on the line. Sully's got to talk to you. He's got a little something <laughs> uh, for you, that okay? That could take a while. You might have to sack <laughs> in around 8 o'clock. <laughs> hold on the line, Judy. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Andy. Please. You got him. Hi, Andy. How are you this morning? How are you, sir? Good. Uh, this is Officer on the Face calling from the uh, Contra Costa County... Department. Uh huh. And I'm calling. To. I'm calling in regards to a um, an injunction that we have filed on you concerning uh, court ordered child support. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen. I'm, I'm over, I've already made arrangements, man. I'm, I've been paying the support. I'm taking care of it. Now, according to the uh, the action filed here, you owe some back money. Is that correct? No, no. Listen, listen. I'm I'm the, sorry. There's a mistake because I'm paying. I have been paying consistently, consistently. Well, sir, I understand that, but according to the order that I'm looking at, there's overdue back child support. Is that correct? Wait a sec. <laughs> you're telling me, you're telling me that I actually, you're telling my wife actually filed y against yes, me? Yes, sir. Uh, her name is Melanie. It yeah, was it was yeah, filed yeah. this past week. Yeah, that that bitch. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I I can't believe she's trying to screw me like this. Well, sir, according to this action, it says you owe $2,500 in back child support. Now, now, you knew that you owed this money? Oh, man. You know, I made arrangements, you know, to, to pay less now, and, and I told her I'd pay more when I got my bonus. You know, I, I made that clear to her. Well, sir, maybe you didn't make it too clear to her because according to this uh, court order here, it says that you owe $2,500. Is that correct? So what, you were paying less money than the court action. Is that is that right? Oh, man, you know, <laughs> that bitch. You know, she, she knew goddamn well that I was going to give her the money when I got the bonus, okay? She is royally screwing me. Royally. Now, a Andy, Andy, control your anger here. Because, hey, because what I'm looking at here is someone who is, who is violating a court order, and we can very easily put a warrant out for your arrest. <sighs> A freaking warrant, huh? A warrant, a warrant for my arrest? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm already paying support to the woman, and she's still coming after me. But it's this a court. Ridiculous. It's a court-ordered amount, and you have been falling far short of that. D did you notify the courts? I thought I was in compliance with the courts. That's the whole point. I was paying every month to this bitch. I cannot believe she's doing this to me. 
Well, Andy, this is freaking me out. A Andy, there, yeah. there's, there's one thing that might freak you out a little more. Now, your wife is Melanie, is that correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, you, and you work with a guy by the name of John and a yep. couple other guys at work? Yep. Yep. Well, John and the guys at work said yep. to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> oh, shit. Good morning. A Andy, you're on the air. Oh, man. No, you're pulling my leg. <laughs> and I hope your wife's not listening to this. You're yeah. pulling my leg. And I hope your ex-wife, <laughs> Melanie, did not hear what you uh, called. I, 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 I owe you guys. Any ideas. <laughs> I owe you guys. <laughs> John said to give you a call. Oh, John's, John's a winner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, Andy, when do you expect this bonus to be coming in? Oh, <laughs> I don't know, a month or two or something. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, oh, Andy, man. Andy, hold on the line, okay? Yeah, we'll a little I'll, I'll hold. Hey, All make, right. make sure you take Thanks. care of business when that bonus comes in. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, don't Thank go you. away. Yeah. It's 733, Lamont <laughs> Tonelli. Talk about relief. Yeah, hook, line, and sinker. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Linda, please. Uh, this, is, this is her. Hi, Linda. I'm calling from uh, concerning your son, Josh. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, uh, now, don't worry, uh, he's all right, but I'm calling concerning uh, something that happened in the classroom about half an hour ago. What, what happened? And uh, you may have to come and pick your child up because um, the uh, behavior that he displayed in the classroom is unacceptable. Oh, no, what did he do? Um, it seems your son stood up in the middle of the classroom at the beginning of school this morning and announced that, uh, well, he was, um, there's no real nice way of saying this. But he announced that he was going to do something, and then he took a big bowel movement in the middle of the classroom. What? He took a foul movement? No, a bowel movement, ma'am. He just stood up there and, and, and had a bowel movement in the middle of the classroom. A bowel movement? What? I don't, I don't understand. What, what, what is that? A bowel movement? Um, he, um, well, he, he just stood up in the middle of the classroom, and you don't know what a bowel movement is? Um, he just stood up in the middle of the classroom. There's no real nice way of saying this, and here I am. Is the, uh, I'm the principal here. And I'm sorry. I just I I'm just not. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not. I'm not understanding what you mean. He stood up in the middle of the classroom and took a big steaming turd in the middle of the class for no better way of saying it. What? You're kidding. Mm. -mm. I wish I was. Uh, are you sure it was my son? Yes, your son Josh. My son. Now, has he done anything like this before in the past? No. He's never done anything like that before. He's never, never. Now, I, I see, he, uh, obviously, he's gone to preschool. He didn't, didn't do anything like that in preschool? No, he's, he's, he was always on his best behavior. Uh, uh, never had a problem. Ever. He was always very well behaved. Well, are, you was... sure it's, are you sure that it's my son? Yes, ma'am. You're absolutely How could I, positive. Well, of course we know it's your son. Oh, my God. I, I, I am completely embarrassed. I am, oh, my God. And the worst um, part is, he actually, after he took it, there, there's a little more to the story, and I was going to share it when you get to the school. But what he did after that is he picked it up, smeared it against the wall, did some finger painting. Oh, my God. No. No, he did not do this. Yes, no. he did, ma'am, and I'm sorry no. to say the classroom, it was a big disruption. Oh, my God. Are you, and you're, you're absolutely positive it was my son. Yes, I am. It was Josh. Joshua, yes. I, I, I... Now, Linda, well, Linda, now there's one thing that you can do here before you come down to the school, all right? What I'd like you I'm to so do... I'm so sorry. I mean, do I have to pay for any damages or anything? Well, we'll talk about that when you come down here. But there's one thing to... Ex He's not kicked out of school, is he? Well, obviously, we can't have your child taking dumps every day at school. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, what we'd like to do is send him to a psychiatrist. You want to send what? <laughs> Does he take after you or your father, or his father? Excuse me? His father's Stephen, right? Yes. Well, Stephen's the one that told him to give us a call here this morning. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO. You're on the air, Linda. It's Dirty Friday. 92 KSJO, uh, you're on the radio. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, no. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I don't yes, believe you it. Are. And your son still took a dump. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't, you, oh, I, I don't, I'm, 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 I'm like ready to, to do it right here. I cannot believe you. No, don't do it there, Linda, and don't do any finger painting either. <laughs> Linda, hold on the line, okay? Your husband said to give you a call. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs>
I think she did take a dump. Linda? Okay. Hey, hang on the line, Linda. Hold on the line, Linda. <laughs> Don't go away. Oh, that was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> what is a bowel and sinker? What is a bowel movement? Yeah. I guess we should say hook, line, and stinker. <laughs> Finger painting? And now the phone system. Oh, here, here we, we go. go. Hello? Good morning. Is Rodney there, please? Yeah, yeah, this is uh, Rodney. Hi, Rodney. You don't know me, but I think we have a little tie that I'd like to touch on right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is Michelle's husband calling. Michelle's husband? Yeah. Oh, Michelle. Well, <laughs> uh, hold on. Who, what's, what's your name? You know, just, just call me Snake, but pretty soon you'll be calling me Mr. Kick Your Ass. That's what you'll be calling me. Now, oh. Now. My wife wait. told me you're sleeping with her, and I'm not happy, asshole. No. Now, hold it. Now, um, um, Snake, uh, I met your wife in, um, you know, like a, 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 a bar, and I only, like, three times, but I didn't know she was married. You screwed my wife three times? That's just because I didn't know she was married. But, 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 but when I found out, I stopped. I, pr I, pr I promise, uh, Snake, I, I, I stopped. Okay? So, uh, you know, there's nothing going on uh, between me and your wife. So you just screwed my wife without knowing anything about her? Well, she, now, Mr. Snake, she, she said she wasn't. She didn't say anything about being married. So, you know, I, I, Michelle I didn't... Michelle told me you knew everything about her, and you just screwed no, her anyway. No, no, see, that's not, that's not true. That, that's not true. She, she, she didn't say anything about that, and, 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 um, and, and, oh, and when I, I found out... I can't wait to get my hands on you, you lying SOB. Oh, now, hold it. Now, Mr. Snake, you know, you don't need to... Mr. Kick your ass, that's what it is. Hey, okay, hold it. Now, we sh we're adults. And we should just we should just talk about this, okay? You screw my wife, you pay. It's that simple. But but she, she told me that she that, that that she wasn't married at first, and, and 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 when I found and when I found out that she was married, then 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 I stopped seeing her. I mean, it, it's as simple as that. I made a so mistake. You screwed her, you threw her aside. Is that it? No, no, no. It wasn't like that. Oh, I'm gonna wring your neck, you hey, pussy. You know, no, you didn't have. You don't. You shouldn't talk to me like that, okay? Listen. You screw my wife, and you're telling me how I should talk to you? It was a, it was a, it was a mistake. U S O B. I can't wait to tell you something, Rodney. Hey, listen. Uh, we should, you know. Rodney. Just, yeah. Your buddy's Jim. Jim. Yeah. Jim said to give you a call, it's Lamont Tanelli at ninety two three KSJL. Rodney, you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> oh. good, good morning. <laughs> <sighs> Did you hear him? Oh. <laughs> the definition of worry, Mr. Snake. I think that's what Michelle called Rodney when she first met him. <laughs> Say hello to Mr. Snake. <laughs> I think that's what Bill Clinton said to Monica Lewinsky. <laughs>